Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system.